Okay, so hello from the Music Interview Corner, guys. It's still Tuska Day 1, and I'm here with Warman, with Antti and Yuri. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. How does it feel for you to play at Tuska? Uh, good. We have played here, I think, three times before, uh, and it's always great. <laughs> yeah, and this year there's some extra excitement in the air because it's the first one with the new lineup. Mm -hmm. So it feels like the first time, basically. Cool. And how does it feel for you to be back in the game with Woman? Uh, really good. Everything has been going well and uh, seems like audience love it for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, we are having a good time and uh, everything is good. Yeah, the summer of metal for us. <laughs> and how is it for you, Antti, to be in a band with your brother? Nightmare. Oh, okay. Good that he's not here. Janne, what did you do to your brother? No, it's... We have always been like the best pals and and friends, and there's no problems with that. So, okay. yeah. And Yuri, how is it for you to be in a band with the Warman Brothers? Are they ganging up on you sometimes? <laughs> no, no, it's all good. Like the whole new lineup, we have known each other for years, basically. So, although this is a new band, so to say, we got the mutual history going on. Three weeks ago, you released an animated music video for World of Pain. Yes. It actually came from our record label, Reaper Entertainment. They asked that if we would like to have this kind of animated video, which is done by uh, University of Melbourne, Australia. Oh, they do a lot. I think they did also Halloween. They do a lot of amazing animated videos. Yes, that's what we heard. And, and we were like, hey, of course. Why not? And then they spent like, I think it was like 3,000 hours or 15 weeks or quite a lot of time with that. And then they sent it to us and it was amazing. Like in this AI world, they actually did animated video. <laughs> it's, I love it. It's great work. Yeah, and like Ante said, that in the age of AI, you got to appreciate the craftsmanship mm. that something's done, you know, like the traditional way. And it looked awesome, and I'm really happy with the song choice also, because it's the most aggressive track on the record, and <laughs> mm. now it gets a full display, like what it's all about. There's some kind of He-Man vibes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And how were the reactions from your fans so far? I think it has been really good. Everybody loves it, and I think somebody even commented that same thing, that it's great, that it's really like a real animated thing. Yeah. And uh, that's my favorite question. What's the craziest thing you've ever done on tour with your new lineup that you can share here without getting in trouble? Craziest thing that we have done. We haven't done anything. <laughs> oh, really? But the, Maybe. the very first show we did in Germany last year yeah. at Summer Breeze, that was a crazy one at the stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the very first gig of the new lineup, all new songs, all new everything. And, you know, during the first song after the intro tape had ended, we played the first chord and none of us couldn't hear anything. Like all the monitor lines were muted. Yeah. Like, okay, here we go. Well, how did you get it fixed? <sighs> It's a long story. <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of like, yeah, craziest thing that we have seen with this new new Warman lineup that you can't hear anything. It's summer breeze, it's big audience, and you look at the German monitor, monitor guy like, uh, please? <laughs> it's not very German. Normally Germans are very accurate and correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but Stuff then, happens. yeah, and we have been... Uh, remembering that first uh, first gig now that how the hell could we survive that one because we didn't have any of our like a uh, local like our own crew members and it was all local and yeah but somehow yeah we just kept on playing and yeah. all of a sudden the monitor started working like yeah. okay here we go again <laughs> like, how, how far in did it start working again uh, it was during the first song but we played like a minute or two without hearing anything, just from out from the muscle memory, basically. What is the craziest place you've ever woken up in? 
are uh, on the street of Tokyo. Oh, and how did that happen? Uh, I was really drunk, and then I passed out, and then uh, Jaska and Alexi from Chain of Bodom were in a cab driving to the hotel, and they saw me <laughs> sleeping on the street. <laughs> and they, they Yeah, and they stopped the cab. <laughs> hey, auntie sleeping on the street. And like... How could that happen? It's the biggest city in the world. And they were in a cab and they saw me sleeping on the street. <laughs> and then they came over there and, hey, auntie, come with us. All right. Yeah. And what was your craziest place you ever woke up in, Yuri? No, I didn't have that good of a story. But, but yeah, I, I can second the Tokyo one. That is probably the safest city in the world in that sense. You know, you can actually see some business guys in the, you know, suits and everything sleeping on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not an urban legend. It's actually reality that mm. it happens. You're currently playing a lot of festivals. Mm. You were at Numiroki. And uh, what would you say is the biggest difference between playing a festival show and playing a concert? Uh, well, playing a concert, of, of course, you have more time to prepare the stage and everything. Uh, on festivals, you like have 45 minutes and then you just go. That's maybe the biggest difference for us. Yeah. Yeah, and on the festival shows, we, you know, decided that we're going to play a certain set of songs mm -hmm. and, you know, just vary it if there's a difference in the set times. But we got our own headline show coming up at Tavastia Club. Yes, is it in August? Yes, August 17th. Mm -hmm. and, and there we're going to play like a proper full warm and show. Are you at the moment working on any new music? Yes. Can you tell us a bit more about that, or is it still secret? Uh, it's a secret. Oh. But we are working on <laughs> a new album, yes. Yes, it's not going to stop here, so... Is this show already like a schedule when it might come out? No. No. I can't tell anymore. <laughs> but And how is it, can you tell a little bit, how will it be in comparison to Here For None? Uh, better. Oh, even better. Yes. Do you want to add anything or is it too secret? My lips are sealed. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> But do you want to say anything to your fans? Yes, thank you for listening to Warman and coming to our shows. <laughs> so, like I said, we have this uh, really special Warman show coming up at Tavastia Club Helsinki on 17th of August. It's going to be awesome. awesome and different and great. Hope to see you all there and... Uh, If not, see you on the festivals this summer. Cool. Do you want to add anything? Nah, rock on. Cool. Then thank you so much and goodbye from the music interview corner. <laughs>